Uh, well, I'm fixing to start a, a series on how to weave a Danish cord seat on a typical Hans Wegner style chair. Uh, this is a reproduction of a CH37. That's a very good example of a typical seat you would see on a, on a Wegner chair or other uh, Danish modern furniture. And so basically I'm going to cover three areas. Uh, how to fill in the corners here, then how to do the basic pattern, and then how to fill in the center. And with those three principles, you can apply that to many different seats. Uh, it doesn't really matter what size it is. And this is appropriate for any seat that is not square, uh, that is a trapezoid shape. And then, of course, if you do have a square seat, you can just eliminate this portion. But I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get into the series. And uh, I hope you'll be able to uh, weave a chair seat after that. Of course, you can always visit my blog at calebjameschairmaker.com. That's calebjameschairmaker.com. And I post regularly other tips on how to build uh, Windsor chairs and Danish chairs as well. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. So we're going to start off showing how to fill in the corners. And what we're going to do here is going to drill a couple holes right on the back side using a 16 inch uh, drill bit. And I'm going to attach my cord here with a half inch number six. Uh, tack. So, uh, first of all, we're going to be filling in these corners with a Hans Wegner style uh, uh, corner. Um, you'll see how that's done. Make more sense seeing it rather than me trying to explain it. But well, first of all, I've already driven the tack through. I try to at least get it through two of the three laces in the cord. And then, since I pre drill that hole, it's going to keep from going to keep from splitting my rung. Now, the first one actually went through the cord. The second one here, though, is going to just basically trap the cord. So you can see it's not going through it, but I'm hooking around. I'm hooking my cord around. And it is actually catching some of the cord. Uh, and I, I try to get it down pretty low because my next wrap is going to come over the top of it. I don't want it to be holding my wrap off. Okay, so here I've already calculated and I need eight wraps, which is approximately an inch and an eighth. Maybe just a shy bit under that. But my front rung is uh, two and a quarter inch wider than my back rung. So I'm gonna have an inch and an eighth amount of wrap here and here, and then that will give me a space in the middle that will be the equal the distance of my back run, so that'll help give me a square pattern. So we're just filling in these corners. And this is what you have to do on a trapezoid shape seat. Trapezoid basically meaning that it's not a square. So right now I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I got one too many there. And of course I'll measure it and make sure I'm getting about an inch and an eighth. Yeah, that's pretty close. Um, and then I'm going to take it over here clamp it. And what I haven't done yet is drill a hole. I usually go about to the middle of this rung. There's no point really in going all the way to the back. Take about midway. And again, I don't actually have to worry about getting this too terribly tight, I, but I do want to make sure that I get through two laces of my cord. And I believe I've done that. I have. Okay, so I'm good. My first wrap that comes around is going to uh, tension that some, so I really don't have to worry about getting it super tight. And then I'm just going to cut it off right there. You get them too tight, <clears throat> and then it'll just tear out uh, the, the cord from the nail. Or right, we'll stop there, and then I'll go over here, get this one pre-done, and then I'll show you how we uh, start the wrap off. We left off from here a while ago. Uh, we got this corner filled in. And so the same process uh, I did over here, except this time, you know, we're not attaching it here, but it's going to go uh, continue on with our shuttle. And so we'll, we'll do the standard uh, weave that we'll finish this off for. Probably 90% of the rest of the weave will be all the exact same pattern. Uh, something that I should note before we get into that, though, uh, you see how I have this clamp down here? Uh, 
it'd be good if you had some sort of system like this. In the past, I've used one little bar across and then I clamp it down with a hole in my bench. Um, this is really much better if you can do something like this because it leaves this area open and you can really uh, do your weave much more efficiently. But okay, so uh, the way I like to approach it is, is, is I like to pre-weave all four corners. Of course, in the beginning, we're gonna just gonna do about two or three of them. Um, and then go back and tension it. That's the process I like to take. And as you can see, what I was doing here is this, what you always do is, is, is you're wrapping over the rung you're working on, down and under, up and over this rung, down and under, and then you're crossing over here and going down and under. And of course, you're always, whenever you come up through the center, you're always staying on this side of the cord, not on that side. So this is going up and over and then under and then back over and under. So you get the idea and it just repeats that process on all of the corners. 